Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Matthias. In this video I will teach you my improvised guitar solo on Camila Cabello's Real Friend. On my Patreon page you will find the tabs and the playthrough video with the tabs on the screen and I recommend to check out my other tabs because you're gonna find more than 100 tabs on my Patreon page. Now we will talk about the chords, after we will learn the solo until the chord solos. So let's start with the chord. So the first chord that I'm using uh, is a C minor 7 chord. First thing we're gonna do the bar uh, on the 3rd fret and 5th uh, fret on the D string and 4th fret on the B string. The second chord is an F minor 7 chord. It's, this is the same shape uh, but on the 7th fret. The third chord is a B flat dominant 7 chord. First finger on the low E string 6th fret, second finger on the D string 6th fret, pinky on the G string 7th fret, and third finger on the B string 6th fret. The next chord is an E flat major 7 chord. First finger on the 6th fret on the A string, third finger on the 8th fret D string, second finger on the G string 7th fret and pinky on the B string 8th fret. The last chord is a D diminished chord. Second finger on the A string 5th fret, third finger on the D string 6th fret, first finger on the G string 4th fret and pinky on the B string 6th fret. The plotting pattern goes like this. You will hear these chords under the solo. Now let's talk about the solo. So the first note in the solo is the 12th fret on the G string. After the 10th fret, 8th fret on the same string, 7th fret and 5th fret. This is the first bar. After that, uh, D string, 8th fret, 6th fret on the same string, 8th fret, 6th fret, 8th fret, after the 5th fret on the D string, and the last note in the second bar is the 6th fret on the A string. Let's play together uh, the first two bars. In the next bar, the first note gonna be the third fret on the D string. I mean, the first note in the next bar will be uh, a slide from the fourth fret on the D string to the fifth fret on the D string. After that, the 7th fret on the G string, 5th fret on the G string, 7th fret, 8th fret, after 5th fret, so... After 6th fret on the D string, 5th fret, and 6th fret again on the same string, so the first 3 bars goes like this. So let's play a little bit slower, the third bar. Okay, in the next bar, the first note gonna be the 5th fret on the G string, 8th fret on the G string, after the 6th on the B, 8th on the B, 9th on the B, 6th on the high E string. And the last two notes uh, in this bar is the 8th fret on the B string and 7th fret on the B string. And this melody goes to the 6th fret on the B string. So, so this bar goes like this. Let's play one more time. Okay, in this bar, 
uh, after the sixth fret on the B string, uh, we will pick four times the tenth fret on the high E string. After that, the eleventh, the twelfth, the thirteenth fret on the same string, and after the tenth fret again. So. So four times the tenth fret on the high E string. After eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, and tenth fret again on the same string. After that, um, this is the next bar. Uh, B string thirteenth fret after eleventh, after twelve, and thirteenth on the G, twelve on the G. And uh, same fret, so 12 fret on the D string. So these two bars sounds like this. Okay, let's play the solo from the top. Okay, in the next bar, we're gonna have three notes on the D string, 15th fret, 14th and 13th. Okay, in the next bar, we're gonna play a great arpeggio. Um, the first note is the 12th fret on the D string, 13th fret on the same string, 12 on the G, 11th on the B, and 10 on the high E string. After that, the 13th fret on the high E string, 12 on the same string, 10 on the high E string as well. So, in the next bar, the first note gonna be the 11th fret, high E string. After the 8th fret on the same string, next note, 9th fret on the B string, 8th fret on the B string. After that, 10th on the G, 9th on the G, 10th on the G. After 8th on the B string, 11th on the B string, 9th on the B string, and 5th on the G string. So let's play this pattern all together. One more time, slower. In the next bar, first note gonna be the 8th fret on the B string, 7th fret and 6th fret, so this, this is a small chromatic. After 7th fret on the G string and 8th fret on the D and the A string. After we have to repeat the 6th, 8th, 6th, 8th, 6th, 8th, 6th, 8th, four times. So 6th, 8th, 6th, 8th, 6th, 8th, 6th, 8th. After we're gonna have two slides on the 5th fret on the D string. After that, we have to pick again the 5th fret on the D string. After 6th fret on the D string, 8th fret, 9th fret, 7th fret on the G string. 8th fret on the G string, 10th fret on the G string. After 8th fret, 11th, 9, 8, and 10 on the G string. So... Yeah, in the next bar we're gonna have two notes on the G string, 8th fret. After that, a slide from the 7th fret on the B string to the 8th fret. After on the same fret, I'm so 8th fret, but on the high E string. After we have to play again the slide from the 7th fret to the 8th to the fret and 6th fret on the B, B string. After 8th uh, fret on the B string, 6th fret, 8th fret, 6th fret. After we're gonna have a small chromatic again from the 6th fret on the B string to the ninth fret, and uh, we have to hammer on these notes. So sixth fret to the seventh fret to the eighth fret. Next note will be on the high E string, sixth fret after eighth fret, 
on the B string, 7th fret, 6th fret. And from here, I used a, a palm muting, and this is how we will get this sound. So let's play uh, from the fifth line. Yeah, this is w where we are now. And from here, we gonna repeat uh, a pattern. It goes like this. So you have to use a palm muting. The notes are 6th fret on the B string, 7th fret, 8th fret on the same string. After a 6th fret on the high E string. And uh, we're gonna go back to the 6th fret from the 8th fret on the B string. So after we turn back, we have to go up to the 8th fret again. So 6, 7, 8, 6. 8, 7, 6, 7, 8, 6 on the highest string. 8, 7, 6, 7, 8, and 6th fret on the highest string again. So this is the pattern what we have to repeat. And after from the top, one, one more time. And the last note uh, in this pattern is the 8th fret on the G string. After that, in the next bar, the first note will be the 7th fret on the G string, 5th fret on the G string, 4th fret on the G string. After the 4th fret on the high E string, 3rd fret on the same string. After 6th on the B, 4th on the B. So... Yeah, we will play great arpeggio again. A C major arpeggio. Yeah, and this is the nine. So... So, fourth fret on the B string, fifth on the G, fifth on the D, Sixth on the A string and you have to slide from the fourth fret on the A string to the fifth fret on the A string. So after sixth fret on the A string, fifth on the D and eight on the D. So after seventh fret in the next bar, seventh fret on the G string. 8th fret, 7th, 6th, 5th. This is a chromatic on the G string. After 8th fret on the D string, 7th fret on the D string, 6th, 5th. So this is a chromatic as well, but on the D string. After 8th fret on the A string, 7th fret on the A string, 5th fret on the A string. And this... Uh, line arrives to the 6th fret on the A string. So it goes like this. One more time slower. Okay, in, in the next bar, we will start uh, the next line uh, with a slide from the 9th fret on the B string to the 11th fret on the same string. Uh, after the D string, 12th fret, 11th on the B string, 13th on the B, 13th on the D, 13th on the B again, and 15th on the B two times. So... After uh, we will play the 15th, 13th, 15th, 13th, 15th uh, on the B string. So this line goes like this.
In the next bar, the first note will be the 13th fret on the high E string and 15th on the B string. So this is the last two notes in this line. After in the in this bar, uh, the next note gonna be the 15th on the B string, 14th. 13th and, and uh, you have to slide down to the 12th fret on the B string. So this will be a chromatic from the 15th fret to the 12th fret. Okay, uh, in the next bar, first note after the slide, gonna be the 16th fret on the high E string, 13th on the high E, 14th and 15th. After 15s on the B, 13s on the high E, 16s on the B, and 12 on the G, 15s on the B string, 14s on the B string, and uh, this line arrives to the 13th fret on the B string. So this pattern goes like this. One more time, slower, from the last line. So... Okay, in this bar, uh, the next note will be the 13th fret on the G string after the 15th fret on the D string. After uh, 11th fret on the B, 12 on the D, and 12 on the D. We have to use the same shape, but from the 9th fret on the B string. So 9 on the B, 10th on the G and the D. So in the next bar, um, we have to start with a slide from the 7th fret to the 9th fret. And the next note gonna be the 6th fret on the B string, after 7th on the G string and 8th on the D. So... Uh, the next note in, the, in this bar will be the 6th fret on the D string, 8th fret on the D string, 6th again, 8th again, and 5th um, fret on the D string. And in the last three notes in this bar will be the 8th fret on the A string, 7th and 6th fret on the A, th a string. So... This line arrives to the 5th fret on the A string. Uh, and this will be the last uh, pattern what I, what I transcribe. So actually this is an E flat major 7-9 arpeggio. So the notes, okay, 5th fret on the A string, 6th fret on the A string, 5th on the D, 8th on the D, 7th on the G, 8th on the G, 6th, uh, and from the 6th fret on the B string we have to play a chromatic to the 8th fret, after come back to the 6th fret, so, after from the 8th fret, uh, there will be a chromatic again to the 5th fret. And you have to do the same but on the D string. So a chromatic from the 8th fret to the 5th fret. After from the 8th fret, uh, A string, 7th fret, A string, 5th fret on the A string, and the last note gonna be the 6th fret on the A string. So the last pattern goes like this. One more time slower.
Okay, this was my solo onto the chord solo. If you would like to practice this uh, solo with me, on my Patreon page you're gonna find a tab, a slow down playthrough with the tabs on the screen, and uh, you're also gonna find a backing track for this song. So if you would like to try to improvise, you can download the backing track as well. And I highly recommend to check out my other tabs and music sheets because you're gonna find more than 100. I hope you found this video useful. See you in the next one.